time for the week in trans. Now, an MP has been under fire this week after posting a controversial tweet. Redditch MP Rachel McLean has been accused of transphobic behaviour on social media, haven't we all? After liking a post on X, claiming her trans political opponent, opponent who you can see now, who's called Melissa Poulton, I've not been born with that name, it's not funny, is just a man who wears a wig. She then shared the post and replied, uh, saying, while the Greens don't know what a woman is, my Worcestershire, Worcestershire neighbours, the people of Bromsgrove certainly do. Well, since then, Rachel has apologised and deleted the comment. Quite right, Melissa Poulton is just as much of a woman as you or me, Rachel. Cressida, <laughs> is Rachel right to apologise? No, Rachel never apologise. <laughs> when are we going to learn? Apologies don't work, do they? It just makes it go on longer. Just don't apologise. Do a Leo curse. Say, no, I'm always right. And then just move <laughs> on with your life. Do it again. But, Dennis, yeah. I mean, this, uh, th that was, that looked to me like, which, like which, a real which, woman. Which, which one was the trans? I just saw two beautiful female politicians. Right, right. That's what I saw. Yeah. Um, absolutely stunning and brave. So. I mean, uh, the, Melissa says she's transitioned. I'm not sure what from and what to. Oh. <laughs> That is, that's a massive spectrum of transition. I think I mean, she's I'm, just 0.3% along it, by the way. I'm from Dumfries. I've seen some <laughs> scary looking women, but that is not fooling anybody. Yeah, I mean, you know, what can you say? It's getting to the point now where I'm starting to get annoyed because... I'm glad you said annoyed there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not aroused, that's for sure. Because I'm starting to wonder if I could be a better looking woman than I am man. <laughs> I keep seeing these people transition and thinking, I'm in the wrong market here. I know now that I'm, as a man, pretty much retired. But I could be a better looking woman than that. I'm sure I can. And Rachel, Rachel, by the way, don't apologise. Don't apologise. You can't apologise for pointing out that that's a man in a wig when it's a man in a wig. I would like to apologise for anyone offended by Paul's comments. There. Sorry, that's, yeah. That's but, clearly a, a real... But we're getting to a point now, though, where she feels the pressure to do that because of the job she's in. Which now, one are we talking about? Not, not, uh, not the the ninja, ninja turtle thing. The ninja uh, <laughs> turtle. Ginger turtle sounds like a toy you can buy, doesn't it? Yeah, so I think, I think she's got one in there. <laughs> yeah. But, 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 you know, no, the, the MP, because of course she can't. She's supposed to be above all this. But when all this is mental, how can you be above it, beside it, in it? I mean, it doesn't make sense, does it? Someone shows you that picture and goes, what do you think? No, I think this <laughs> is I've a sign... I've over this all week. No, but... it's a sign that times are changing, because there's a time when you'd been shown that, you would have said, beautiful, brave woman, the end. And now people are just starting to question that and say, what about lesbians who don't... She's a yeah. trans lesbian, what are you talking about? Well, that's the debate, isn't it? <laughs> I, Darius what? is a woke correspondent, though. <laughs> Darius, you're more convinced than Mark. Anyway, yesterday, 